In this updated tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how to use a split screen to put more than one video on the screen at the same time, but in a situation where you cannot use the original video in its original proportions. Let me show you the issue that this raises. I have a video on track number one of some cyclists on a road. And so if I click on that, I can resize it to fit about half the screen. But notice it keeps the proportions. I have lots of black around it. Now I could take this second video, drag it on track number two, and do the same with that and make it approximately half the size of the screen. But now both will play as originally shot, and yet I have all the black around them, and I have to go ahead and adjust the size try to get them approximately the same proportions, and it still doesn't work. I'd like the full screen to have each video on it. How do I do that? Well, we have to do some cropping within the video. Let's go ahead back to the first one of the bikers. What I'm going to do is click on that, and I'll click on Tools, and then Power Tools, and we're going to go to Crop and Zoom. Unfortunately, there's a button to the right I have to make room for, so I click on the Crop and Zoom tool. And what this will do is this will enable me to resize this. Let's say I want this to be half the screen size. Now, if I begin to resize it by controlling any of the handles, I have the same issue I had a few moments ago, because my aspect ratio is locked to the original, which is 16 by 9. I have to click on Freeform. And when I click on Freeform, then, I can change the size of the image. I can also click on the blue dot to change the location of the image. Now, what I want to do is keep it on about half of the screen, so I'm going to adjust the size and adjust both directions at once. And there we go. Now it's on half the screen on the left side. Now if I look up here, I see where the cropping is going to happen. Now right now, I have to pick only part of the video that will show. I can select the writers on the left, I can select the writers on the right, I can't show everything. But we're going to use some keyframes, and before I worry about what part of the video I'm going to use, I'm going to set keyframes. Now it starts out with one in the lower left, that's the little red diamond. There's a keyframe it just set over there. To add another keyframe, all I need to do is move this playhead anywhere else. Let's just set four. Let's do one in the middle, and we'll do the plus on the diamond. We'll do one on the right, do a plus. We'll do one about three-fourths of the way in, and one about a quarter of the way in here. Now, you may have to set more keyframes for accuracy, but we'll start out with these four. So we'll move to the first keyframe by clicking on the arrow, that takes it to the left, and the highlighted one will be the pink one. The other ones are yellow. And here I have my first uh, keyframe. Now if I look at the preview window, the smaller one in the upper right, I get to see what I'm covering. Let's take the cyclist on the right. Okay, so we want to center on the guy in the pink shirt. So that will be where my video starts. Now I'm going to move to the next keyframe by clicking on the arrow pointing to the diamond to the right. And then on my second keyframe, at that part in the video, I'm going to keep the horizontal here, and we'll focus on the guy in the pink shirt. That will be number two. Then we'll click again, and we'll move to number three. So we're going to focus on this guy again, keep that in the center of the screen. One more time to get three-fourths of the way over. We'll keep focusing on the same biker. and the gentleman behind him, and we'll put the center right about there, and then we'll go to the last keyframe, and we'll move over and we'll adjust it. Now I can't, don't want to go off the screen, I'll have a black, but uh, this is as far as I can go. And we'll make sure I'm still perfectly horizontal, so that's where we are. So I'll click on OK. So now I have one of them done. Now I need to make the proportions back to normal. Uh, so I, if I uh, click on this, 
We'll resize it back to normal size. That's close enough for our illustration. So I click on OK. And when I play the video, let's take the second one. Let's take the second one uh, out for now. And now we have the bikers, part of the biker video, playing on the right side. The only thing we need to do now is repeat the process on the left side. I'm going to take the, the picture of the Jeep, and then we're going to click on Tools, and we'll do Power Tools again. Repeat our Crop and Zoom, click on the Crop and Zoom button. And in this case, what we're going to do is go back to Freeform like we did before. We'll make it about half the size. Looks like I need to make it a little bit wider here. Okay, and now we're going to set some keyframes. I have one there. We'll put one in the middle. Three-fourths of the way. I try to use as few as possible, but you can use as many as you need. And now we're going to start with the keyframes. We'll go back to the left side. And we want this to be centered on the middle of the grill. Again, we keep looking at our preview screen at the upper right, then we'll move to the next keyframe. And this one's way off too. We want to center it on the middle of the grill in this shot. Go to the next keyframe by clicking on the arrow here. And we'll center the third one right here, probably on the left, just above the headlight. We'll do it again. Now we're going to center it right here. Set a keyframe, and at the end, we want it to be right like this. Okay, so now we have our second one done. Now the only thing we need to do is take this, and we click on it again. Get into our PIP designer. That's what allows us to say you're, you belong on the left side of the screen as opposed to the right side of the screen. Okay, and then we go ahead and we'll play the two side by side. Click on movie mode, give us a little more room so you can see better, and we'll play it. Obviously, the best way to do this is when you're in filming mode and you know you want your subjects to share the screen that you film it that way. That way, the parts that you cut out don't matter. Uh, in this case, with the Jeep, it looks pretty good, but with the other one, it's a little awkward because we're cutting out some of our racers. But there's no way in post-production to totally compensate for that. But you can still do a split screen by changing the proportions of what you take out of your original videos by using the Crop and Zoom tool in CyberLink PowerDirector.